Good morning, I'm Justin from Bricklight, um, building and landscaping company down in the South Wales area based in Pontypridd. And today we want to show you how to install a, a cavity lintel. So here we go. So this is what we did earlier. So this we didn't video this because we needed all hands to the pump to get this on. So this is a catnic lintel. So with the catnic lintels, cavity lintel, obviously your internal skin sits on there. Um, these little holes here. There for the plasterer to get his um, his plaster or his dot and dab on, so they're like keyholes for him to do that. So that's what that's for. And then if you just come over here a little bit, please, Brad. I'll give him a view just to show the insulation in, in, in between the lintel. In there, look. straight into the lintel in inside there. So if you can see that little bit of insulation there, it's a continuous insulation back that goes through to match this insulation we've got here so even though you're putting a lintel on you still get the continuous insulation which goes through these lintels so that's that's really really good and then this is the outside skin out on here for the external block work to go on or brickwork whichever you're using and then this bit here acts as a cavity tray so when you've built your block work up to here what i always do is i always put a, an 18 inch damp proof course on top anyway so you put an 18 inch damp proof course where my hand is, that'll go down there and then out there. So what'll happen, any moisture gets into the cavity, any little droplets of water, the water will come down, hit the cavity tray, we'll put some weep holes in and the water will be diverted away from the, from the house. But we have got a roof here as well, but we will put uh, DP, DPL or DPC in there, an 18 inch damp proof course. So then on to this one, so I'm just going to show you how to put the... Uh, the lintel on. So we've got a smaller one here now. So we've set the brickwork up um, at the right height, 2.1, stipulated on the plan to uh, for the lintel height. So we put the bricks in, let them dry on Friday. So it's Tuesday today, so we've got a bank holiday. So all this is set perfectly for us to put the lintel onto it. Um, other key things you've got to mention is this lintel, going back to this one, you've got to have a minimum of 150ml bearing what the lintel sits on. So if you come onto there, Brad, so we have achieved our minimum of 150 mil there to sit on both sides for the minimum bearing. And this is a heavy duty lintel as well, this one, because this one's a big, if you go right the way back down there, Bradley, just to show them exactly what we're doing. So this is a big, big lintel now, this one, if you just show them the whole length of the lintel, that's a big lintel. So this one is a heavy duty one. So whenever you're doing lintels, first thing you need to do before you install, before you put the lintels on, um, is to stipulate, to find out what's on the plans, the plans you're using. Um, it should have a requirement on the plan of what lintel to use. If it doesn't, you, know, you need to go back to your architect to clarify, because quite simply, if this wasn't a heavy duty lintel, um, and you do put something above it, that the roof for is another layer, uh, you know, a, a double skin, double extension rather to go on top of it then you could be compromising the lintel in terms of it not being satisfactory to hold the weight above it so very important that you um, you get the lintels to be installed that are right so this is a heavy duty one um, so yeah we've done that right so on to the next one then so we've got our compo our mortar and the bucket we're just going to bed this up so the lintels always have to be bedded on a bit of mortar. We'll put that on there. That's that one. And the same as this on the other side. On there like that. Same again. And if you notice the insulation when I'm working on here now as well, what I've done is I've kept this insulation right tight to the underside of the lintel as well so again there's no pockets where you can get you know the cold the moisture coming in any cold spots coming in for the customer when he sat down there snug in the winter months so yeah we, we cut that right tight to the uh, to the lintel so the continuation of the the cavity uh, insulation goes right the way through even though we're putting lintels on so that's another key element of, of what we're doing so there we are that's on so the lintel can go on now I don't fall off the scaffold. So here we go. Limp off. Get that on there. Like that. 
place him down where you want it. So, so what I'm looking for here is this side of the lintel and this side of the lintel. See it better here, look right. What we don't want to do is this bit of the lintel here. We don't want that little bit of the lintel protruding. I'll show you over there like that because what you won't be able to do then is you won't be able to get your block or your brickwork in here because that's stopping it so you've got to centralize your lintel so if you have a look down here now brad there's a slight gap there yeah slight gap here so that means we can get our brickwork block work whatever we're doing on top to fit inside and out of the lintel so if i just check that other side again now just to make sure i've got that bit right as well In fact, we can put him over slightly. So, lintel's on, motor's done its job, it's where we need to be, insulation's checked, everything's checked. You've got more than 150mm bear in there. A little bit more than 150mm bear in there. So that's fine. So I'm just going to grab the level. Sorry. I'm trying to get this one level for that one now. So just give it a couple of little taps, you'll feel your level. Right, so there we go. So if you come and have a look at that level now, Brad. Then we've got the one lintel absolutely spot on level to the other lintel. The level through making sure so we're slightly low this end so that's although that's level to that side we are slightly low the other side so we need to rectify this so what we do get ourselves a little bit of mortar or compo as we call them in these parts that's the one side Where you want him again, watching your gap, make sure you can get a block or a brick in there. So that's level. Double check it for that one. That's level. Double check it for this one. Absolutely spot on level. Now, what would also double check? I just just double check this just as a, a precaution because the door is being fitted to the underside of the lintel. Double check that. I just double check it. Absolutely spot on. So yeah. What we'll do now is we put the damp proof course over this um, a little bit later and we can uh, we can carry on because the lintels are set now so the door openings are all in. Away to go. We can put the block work in and get it up to wall plate level because it's a single decker. And uh, that's it. So yeah, any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, good luck with doing your own lintels. Give it a go because it's uh, and anything you get stuck with, just contact me. We're willing to help and uh, thank God for a, a beautiful sunny day in Wales, which is rare. So have a good day. See you on the next one. Cheers.